Hi, it's Dave Oates from Finder Monkey and Joanna North Associates. I wanted to talk this week about Irish adoptions. Um, the reason being, um, if you're not aware, um, there has been quite a major um, legislation change in Ireland that came into effect at the end of June this year, 2022. And essentially, this um, allows um, adopted adults in Ireland the right to now access their birth record information. Um, and also allows um, the, the setting up of a, a, a contact preference register um, to allow people, adopted adults, as well as birth family members, to pre-register a wish about future contact. Um, I think that's a really important part of it because there are a lot of people who perhaps will want to be in touch, but equally there are people who won't want to be contacted for various reasons. Um, so it is there to register a wish about being contacted, not just to be in touch, but also to state that actually you would find contact very difficult. So I would certainly encourage people who fall into that category to, to, to do that, and you can do that now. They've got a really good website, um, it's birthinfo.ie. And if you go on there, it's really, it's really simple and you can start registering on the contact preference register from now. Um, from October this year, adopted adults will have the right to access um, further information as well and the tracing and um, um, inter effectively intermediary services will start so you'll have the right to access information and potentially start reaching out to people as well. So it's, uh, it's a big change um, and I think it brings probably takes Ireland actually um, almost ahead of where England are in terms of legislation at the moment, England and Wales, um, and certainly in Scotland uh, and, and Northern Ireland, things perhaps need to still behind that a little bit as well, uh, in the sense that adopt, there isn't anything in the legislation that allows the tracing um, of an adopted person. Um, adopted adults have plenty of rights in Northern Ireland and, and in Scotland. Um, in terms of they can access their information, but there's still very little other than putting your details on a contact register that a birth relative of an adopted person can do. Um, it will be interesting to see how all this unfolds and, and what happens um, and and quite how well it works, but like the information on the website, I say I would encourage you to go have a look at it if you're affected um, through adoption in Ireland um, to see how it might help you. Um, and hopefully um, it will work well, um, but we shall see. Um, and if you've got any questions about that or you want any help searching in Ireland, it is something uh, we do do work on. Um, quite how things are going to work with this new legislation, we're not sure yet, um, but we'll keep, uh, we'll keep you updated as, uh, as we learn more. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions about anything Ireland-related, do let us know. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.